welcome to the bridal show. We are so excited to have Ed Rogers of Georgetown Flowers and Gifts here with us today. Uh, Melissa and I were on the car ride over here talking about how excited you love flowers, don't you, Melissa? Oh, yeah. I, lo I wish I could be a designer of flowers, but I'm so not. They're beautiful. <laughs> we we can teach them. you. Oh, I don't doubt it. But thanks. Well, you have been here uh, for quite a while here at Georgetown Flowers and Gifts. Um, wh what do you do here, Ed? Uh, pretty much oversee the design room as well as design, purchasing product, some wedding consultations and all. Yeah, great. And do you guys do quite a bit of weddings here? We're working on it. We're, <laughs> we're trying to get more. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, yeah, well, uh, basically, I guess we need to first address, in 2012, there was a big honor bestowed upon you. Uh, what was that? Well, every year, Kentucky State Florist Association has their Designer of the Year competition, and they have an open competition and narrow it down to four people that compete on stage, and the highest scoring designer is Designer of the Year for that year, and goes on to the next competition. Awesome. Yeah. So, I was pretty proud. Okay. Absolutely. Well, what kind of design uh, sort of won that for you? What, if you can share one of your trade secrets, what was the, what was the big design that, that... Well, actually, my specialty seems to be funeral work, so that was one of my higher scoring pieces. And the, the Sunday competition, you have 20 minutes to create a piece. And fortunately, I'm okay in a crunch. So I can do good in a tight time frame. So working under pressure is good. Right, exactly. Okay. Except right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Is it, is it referring to weddings, um, mm -hmm. um, wedding planner, what... We, have, we do a lot of outdoor weddings, okay. and one of the things that we're always kind of trying to time the right way, right. say the sit ceremony is at 5 o'clock, reception is not going to be till 6. Mm -hmm. What is the appropriate time to place those flowers on the table? Well, depending on the weather, of right. course, you normally have a good two-hour time frame that okay. is good. Okay. And we usually will plan a setup about two hours ahead of time. So what, okay. what kind of trends are you seeing over the last few months in weddings? The latest trend that I'm seeing is going back to the cascade bouquets, which mm -hmm. are done in a holder with the trailing flowers and greenery, as opposed to the little clutch bouquets. Mm -hmm. And we're also seeing a lot of brides asking for red. Red seems to be a good color right now. Or the green flowers, the natural green flowers are very popular. Yeah, and you guys do bouquets, of course. What about centerpieces? What have you been seeing lately with those? Actually, we're seeing that people, in, in an effort to save a little bit of money, are wanting to do a lot of their own centerpieces. And that's where we're instituting, shortly, a DIY program, where we will offer a discount on the flowers. Mm -hmm. We'll also offer a professional workroom and a designer here to guide them without them having to pay for the labor. Oh, that's great. That's so we're going to try and turn it into like a mini party atmosphere. So you're teaching them how to actually put the flowers together. Right. Okay. And, and just guiding them if they have something in mind that's mm -hmm. not working out quite right. So mm -hmm. we can guide them without doing the designing ourselves. And do you, do you help them to the right flowers for the right theme, like if it's a rustic wedding? or? We will, okay. sure. Uh, there's so much information out there yes. that mostly anymore brides to come to us fully loaded. And Pinterest is a great yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. fully loaded. So yes. they've been drinking. They have <laughs> well some, oh, okay. yes. <laughs> but they have a lot of information and they have pictures and they know flowers more so than 15 years ago. Right. Uh, um, oh, yes. Customers are much more educated. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When they come in to do arranging, and I guess either you or someone from, from your staff is sort of helping them, right. do you usually see maybe the bride and several of the bridesmaids uh, come in during one of those do-it-yourself type classes? Right. Well, we're just getting started, so we're, we're assuming that it would be bridesmaids, a mom, a couple aunts and sisters, and that sort of thing. Yeah. So we think it would be a lot of fun. Yeah. And it's a way for us to keep our foot in the door and be able to help people out. Yeah. Okay, great. Right. Yeah. Now, uh, how long have you been with Georgetown Flowers and Gifts? Well, I've been here almost two years. Uh, I was here for about a year and a half when I first moved to Kentucky, about eight years ago. But I've been in the industry for 31 years. 
Wow. So I've seen a lot of changes. You don't yeah. look that old. Did you well, start when you. you were three years old or what? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Is this something that you've always done and, and really loved and had a passion for and came natural to you? It did. Uh, I started with a horticulture course in high school, a Votech kind of deal, and started as a delivery driver in a shop. Oh, great. Uh, in Ohio, and then went from there. Awesome. Okay. So you've always kind of been passionate about it and you moved from delivery driver to starting to arrange things a little bit more? I went from driver to what I called make them and take them and then on to full time designer. So, <laughs> make them yeah. and take them, I like that. <laughs> so I love it. I, I like what I do and I'm, I'm fortunate that I like what I do. That's great. Okay. Do you work with a lot of wedding planners, um, or more so the brides, when you when it comes down to weddings? More so directly with the bride. And recently we've done a couple small weddings where I've never even met the bride. It was all over email. Yeah. So that's a new one also. All right, well if folks want to contact you, what's your phone number here? Is 502-863-5986. Great. And you guys are conveniently located. Uh, what is the address here in Georgetown if folks want to find you? It is 143 Southgate Drive, uh, right off the bypass. Oh, great. Yeah, well, it was definitely easy finding you, and we're glad that, uh, that you're able to spend some time with us today. And I understand here in a minute or two we're going to take just a quick tour of the shop, have you maybe show us around a little bit, if that's all right? We can do that, sure. Great. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll be right back with the bridal show after these messages. Folks, welcome back to Georgetown Flowers and Gifts, and we're here with the lead designer here, Ed. And thanks again for allowing us to come out here today. No problem at all. Nice to see you. Great. And you guys have so many things here in the store. Of course, you do weddings, but we're looking around and seeing a lot of interesting, amazing things here. Uh, one of which, I mean, you know, we're just looking around. You've got this huge display of candles. Can you can you show us a little bit about uh, these? What, what brand are these? These are Candleberry candles, and we have one of the largest selections in the area. My definitely is the uh, red velvet cupcake. Oh yeah, that, this is, that's a great smell. Um, kills any smell in the house. Oh well, we have the the candles. We also sell quite a few in the large and small with the flowers on top. I like that. Which is a nice a gift. gift. And then they have the candle to keep afterward. Oh, neat. Uh, another of our best sellers are the Willow Tree Angels and figurines. 
And so husbands and boyfriends come in quite a bit looking to add to a collection. Okay. Great. I don't want to alarm you, but these people don't have faces. They don't. And there's a story behind it, but I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so we've got these here, we've got the candles. Uh, okay, tell us about this arrangement here. Well, the candleberry candle is at the bottom. We turn the lid over and do a small arrangement on top. And that way it's kind of a two for one gift. So they have the flowers, and when those are done, they have the candle they can use. We're talking redneck stuff, and that's what I am. I'm a born and bred redneck, and I'm seeing redneck stuff here. We started out with the redneck wine glasses. We added the margarita glasses, um, the, yeah, and the, the martini jar. glasses, and it's a nice line. We're just getting started on it, but actually we've sold most of the wine glasses for brides and grooms to use this is for their the reception. This hottest item. It has yep. been the hot, I mean, centerpieces as well as toasting glasses. This right. I have seen all year long at my weddings. Yeah. Absolutely. And this hot people item. love them. They yeah. do. They do. That's great. It gives it a really nice look. This look, though, the rustic look, is in really in with mm -hmm. the wedding. So this is a great centerpiece. Um, the sunflowers are being used They're a lot this year. Always popular. This is a fabulous, fabulous centerpiece. It's neat. And this, uh, these intertwined twigs or right. wood, what is that? What's that supposed to give off? Like a sort of a bird nest type feel, or what I, is I it? think it would be like an exaggerated bird nest. Sure. Great. And, yeah, no, I know. What are, are these uh, black eyed Susans? Sunflowers. Sunflowers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. They're sure. always popular. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is a weekend's wedding. Yeah. What are doing? This is neat. Fabulous. Wow. To contact you, do you all, ha you all have a website? We do. You can reach us at info at georgetownflowers.com. And we're also very active on Facebook. So okay. you can friend us. So you have a page Facebook. I can go in and like. We do. Oh, good. I do that all the time. You love that. Don't I you? do. Like, like, like. <laughs> so like away. Yeah. I will do that. Thank you. Yeah, and I always heard, and I saw out on the uh, out on your guys' sign. Do you do something with people's first names, some sort of promotion? We do. In the summer, we do a name game, and we'll put first we do regular names like Jack and Jill. If that's your name, you can come in and receive some free fresh flowers. And toward the end of summer, we take it into a famous couples. Um, Lucy and Ricky, for example. Brangelina. Yep. <laughs> Brangelina. <laughs> and you can come in also, and it's become real popular. Oh, uh, we cool. get a lot of people that look for it every summer. Really? Yep. Okay. We're also um, looking into starting on the line of an Express Your Sentiment on Facebook. So if someone's in the shop and they're buying something for a birthday, mm -hmm. we can take their picture, put their sentiment on Facebook for their loved one. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing that we're just getting started on. So it should be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. That sounds great. Yeah. I'm sorry, it would be really popular. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what are your store hours here? We're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 6, and Saturday, 9 to 5. Great. All right, we will be back with more of the bridal show after this.
Lexpon. Lexpon is the only online coupon company that is devoted to its customers in Lexington as well as Central Kentucky. We have amazing deals on everything that you need as well as everything that you want. Look, we're all looking for ways to save money. Why not stretch your dollars with Lexpon? Just sign up below and start receiving your daily deals. It's time to save some serious money. So what are you waiting for? Are you having fun today? I'm having great fun. Yes, absolutely, thank you. <laughs> great, well, it's so good to be in the presence of a current TV star and future TV star in <laughs> you. Um, are, you're not gonna let all this go to your head, are you? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, there's so many things going on. 2012 has been absolutely a great year, mm -hmm. um, not only for you and your company, Style 360, but also with Weddings by Michelle. It has. Uh, what kind of things are, are you guys, uh, yourself and Michelle, already booking things for 2013? Oh, absolutely. Yes, Michelle actually met with a 2013 bride yesterday. Uh -huh. uh, bride's mother, absolutely, yeah. Oh, so they're already starting to book. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Yeah. And when you look back at 2012, I know you've done tons of weddings, mm -hmm. but I know one stands out a little bit more probably than the others. What was that experience like? I mean, was it the most am seeing your son go down the aisle? And also, I take it uh, you did the the mother son dance. Yes. You're you're just totally integrated in the whole thing. But emotionally, what was it like to kind of give your son away? Well, um, you know, I didn't think about it a lot because I was in such the planning mode, um, and 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 then the bride and and her mother. They you know they pretty much like you know please do, you know, do this, help us, you know, and so I was more than willing to, they're lovely people, and um, I was very blessed with a great daughter-in-law, and, um, but I, I really hadn't thought about it, because I was so much in the planning part of it, and of course, you always want your weddings perfect, as perfect as they can be, and do your best, and always have the spirit of excellence in your work, but when it comes to your children, you always kind of do the extra mile, and so there was a, you know, a little bit more there to do, and, you know, usually I don't leave a wedding with four truckloads of things, but this one I did. <laughs> usually the brides bring their stuff, but this was all mine, um, so, but which was great. It wasn't until I, I, I was, I was in there, um, reception area and I had been setting up all day and it wasn't until I turned around and my son walked in with his tux on and I lost it. Mm. That's when it all, it was like a release and when he kind of smiled and he goes, oh, I was wondering when this was coming, mom. <laughs> and he hugged me and I said, I just felt like I'm losing you. And, <laughs> and, and he just, and I could see the tears welling up in his eyes and I was like, just promise me one thing, you will not move away and stay that way from me. And he goes, mom, I live around the corner. <laughs> 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 but I gave him away to an amazing girl, and so they're an amazing couple, so I'm very happy. Oh, that's great. Where did they do their ceremony and reception at? At the Thoroughbred Center. Oh, they yeah. had the wedding outside in the circle out front there in the tree, um, which was an amazing, amazing view. Yeah. Um, and then they had it in the uh, uh, barn area in the back, um, oh. so, and she did the, she did the rustic, uh, the burlap, um, which was 
pretty much, I think we did every wedding this year was burlap except one we did. Great. So, but it's, it's, it's a great look. So when she did the mason jars, so very rustic, very pretty. She did great. Neat. And did you get to help her a little bit with her style? Actually, she, I did. She was actually one of the, one of the brides that called me upset because she felt like she should have tried on 20 dresses and she found her dress right away. And, and she thought it, you know, is it too simple? And she had all this negative thoughts about it. And, and she sent me the pictures and I cried because it was like, oh my gosh, that dress was made for you. It's absolutely perfect. And so she made the perfect decision for her. She, you know, and instead of the dress making her, she made that dress. Mm -hmm. And she made that, that dress was absolutely gorgeous on her. And I'm not saying because she's my daughter-in-law, in all honesty, she really did it on her own and she did an amazing, she did. And actually I asked her if I could use her as a, um, you know, picture or an example because she is what these photographers are telling me that, you know, they'd like to Bryce to look like the more natural, the more, you know, let their natural beauty come out instead of this up tight do's and you know and all this you know so yeah uh -huh. she did it right she did great the thoroughbred center uh -huh. lots of people love working with amy jackson great did mm -hmm. you guys get to work a little bit with amy mm -hmm. by putting the wedding together and what were your impressions oh, yeah. of her and, and the venue i i love I, I love it out there i think if you're going for the rustic look absolutely if you're going for the more elegant up ballroom it's not the place for that but absolutely the rustic it's perfect um the, the they have a great view um, for the wedding. Who were some of the other vendors that uh, you and Michelle brought in to help out on the wedding, like uh, with regard to photography and mm -hmm. things like that? Who were some of the folks you guys had? Um, we, did, we did a couple of Louisville weddings this year with the photographers. We, did, we, you know, we didn't know, but ended up being great people and mm -hmm. I apologize I don't remember their names mm -hmm. but here in Lexington we dealt um, Rick Rickerson is one um, he's a really great photographer along with Amber and Troy Schmidt um, mm -hmm. and um, then there's Matt and Wendy Woolley and for, of course Frank Becker um, mm -hmm. who's always you know really great but one of the most amazing things that I found this year and um, a lot, uh, some of the other brides are just thrilled. My, my couple of my brides have not shut up about it. Um, and he was in the booth at, at the show was Neil. And he does the, the photography or the uh, paintings. He sits while the reception is going on and you're interacting and you're partying and you have a good time. And, and his paintings, it, it's, the, it's your whole reception. Wow. It's everything that's going on. It's an amazing, it, it's just, I was very fortunate and blessed to have him at my daughter's, or daughter-in-law's and son's wedding. Mm -hmm. and, it was so much fun just watching him paint and um, his paintings. We have some in the office. So that's been a, a really, really good treat this year for Wilson Brides. That's great. And uh, over at Weddings by Michelle, uh, where you're frequently at, you work with her. You, I have an office in there with her. You do? I great. do. So yes. the Style 360 office is right there as well. It is. And that's off Clay's Mill. Mm -hmm. um, is that a, uh, do you guys only see brides by appointment only, or are you guys open quite a bit and, and folks can just walk in? Um, We've had some walk-ins. Um, we like to be. We liked the appointments because we like to be more prepared. Because if we are doing a wedding that day and we're getting prepared, we usually we'll dress down, running around. So if you know, if we know that a bride's coming in, then we like to be able to you know be more you know not that we're not professional, but you know you want to you know sit and talk and take the time to talk and you don't want to you know rush anyone. You want them to feel like it's their day. It is their day, mm -hmm. but it's their time and and we're all about them. Even though we do multiple brides, we try to make each bride feel like it's it, they're our only bride because that's you know that's the way they want to feel and so we try to give them that service as well. So we try to do by appointments mostly. Great. But if somebody walks in, we're not going to turn them away. Yeah, <laughs> sounds great. Yeah. Well, again, so I'm so excited uh, to begin this new adventure I with you. Too. We are going to have a blast over the next uh, several months and beyond. Uh, interviewing some some of the best wedding businesses in the bluegrass, I'm aren't we? Excited, yes, absolutely. Great. All right. Well, thank you again. Uh, we have had a blast. Hope you have as well, and we will see you very soon. Welcome to Lexpon. 
Lexpond is the only online coupon company that is devoted to its customers in Lexington as well as Central Kentucky. We have amazing deals on everything that you need as well as everything that you want. Look, we're all looking for ways to save money. Why not stretch your dollars with Lexpond? Just sign up below and start receiving your daily deals. It's time to save some serious money. So what are you waiting for? Thank you.